Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going to Q3 of the Weekly Contest 264, Count Notes with the Highest Score. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this problem. So this problem, um, yeah, uh, especially also, you want to talk about this problem, come to the Discord, people come hang out and chat about these problems and so forth. But anyway, um, this one, um, I think it can be tough. I think the, the uh, it's a little bit of an awkward problem for sure. Um, you know, I, I spent some time just converting it into a proper tree. I don't know that they give you, I don't know why that they give you a binary tree, but don't give you the input in a binary tree. But that said, um, for me, it reminded me a lot of a problem that we did recently, which is maximum product of splitted binary tree. Actually, apparently it was two months ago on a contest. Um, I think this particular problem was on... Um, uh, yeah, so basically for this particular problem, I have a video on it, but the idea is that you have, um, you're splitting, you, you're deleting a node, I think, uh, or you're deleting an edge in this case, and then you're taking the sum of, of the two subtrees, or, uh, the independent sum of the two subtrees, and then uh, set the product. So this one has the same idea in that you're splitting it up, and I think the, I, the same idea applies here, and... I don't know. Mm, I feel a little bit sad that it took me a little bit longer than a lot of people have. Um, but I was also just, I don't know, maybe I'm just tired today. Uh, I, mean, I was very slow in general. Even though I knew what to do when I did want to do this immediately, but I also misread the problem a little bit. Um, and I, the, the input also threw me off a little bit. I don't know why they don't give you in a note, um, but oh well. But yeah, so the idea that I did was just, Basically, okay, so you have n is the number of nodes, right? Um, so then here, um, and I actually did it in a way such that it doesn't have to be a binary tree because I just did a for loop. But the idea is the same, which is that, okay, so for every node that we remove, there are, three, uh, there are at least three components, right? Or, well, or, yeah, there's the, or at most three components, I suppose. Um, so every node we move, there's, one or two children and then uh, the rest of it right so to get the the sub tree size or we you know we just get the size of the the um um you know you know it's a very standard recurrence and you should practice this if you're having trouble with it. i think there are a couple of lead code problems that are relating to this but then but the idea is that okay you recursively the 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 number of nodes in the subtree at the root is equal to the sum of the nodes, number of nodes on the left and plus the number of nodes on the right. So that's basically the idea that we built from. Um, so here, we look at the children for the number of to uh, nodes. Um, so we have the number of nodes here. And of course, we're getting the product of all the children because when you split by removing this node, they're the two children, right? So that's basically what this is here. This just allows us to track the number of nodes in total. And of course, we started with one. And product, we just started with one because that's just a good value to product with. Um, here, so this is the magic that makes uh, this problem, which is that, okay, let's say, let's say you have the left node has X, X nodes and the right subtree has uh, Y nodes. Then now, the total notes that you have is x plus y plus one, right? Um, maybe I should draw a little bit here. Um, hmm, let me let me pull that up real quick. Um, yeah, I mean I don't think this is that. No, I think with the proper visualization, it will clean it up a little bit, right? So yeah, so let's say you have some notes. And let me just copy and pace a little bit. Oops. Mm, mistakes were made. Oops. Okay. Um, oops. What the? Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry. Let me finish creating a tree for a second. Or at least a decent looking E tree. So you have something like this, right? So, um, okay, ignoring the cropping for a second. So, okay, something like this, uh, but maybe perhaps drawing a little bit better. But the idea is that, okay, you have total of n nodes, right? Oops, how did that happen? You have total of n nodes. So if the left subtree gives you x and the y subtree gives you y, and this node is one, then that means that x 
So that means that um, in the rest of the tree, right? And this is what we're trying to figure out, which is when you disconnect by when you try to disconnect by this node, that's the rest of the tree. And as you can see here, if everything is n and you have x and y and one, then x plus y plus one plus uh, let's just say z is equal to n, right? And this is z. Um, and it should be pretty obvious that n minus x minus y minus one will give you z, right? So that's basically the idea here. Um, and and now that this is so, and the only uh, case where this is not the case is is if it's total because then. Or, or sorry, if you had the root that because then there's no parent node, right? So that's why I have to make sure that it's greater than zero. Um, but yeah, but otherwise we get the product, and this is of course the definition in the problem in that that's the score, right? It's the product of all the sides of the subtrees. So that's basically it. Um, and then here we just basically keep track, right? Because here instead of getting your best score, you count the number of nodes of the best score. So this is just standard looking, um, keeping track. If the product is equal to best, then you add one. If product is greater than best, you update the product and you set n is equal to one. At the way n, you return one. Um, and here on this recursion, we do return total um, because this will allow us to return the number of nodes in the subtree. Um, return the number of nodes in the subtree rooted at i, right? And of course, um, as you can see, this is essentially a, a tree traversal. Um, is it pre-order, post-order? I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? But it, because in the sense that this is going to be O of n time and O of n space or O of h space, if you will. Uh, or O of h where h is the height, right? Um, but yeah, um, and of, of course, the worst case is a linked list. Um, yeah, and I did this conversion in the beginning to convert it so that you could get the children of a parent. Like I said, it's very awkward that they do it this way. I, if they gave us a node, I might have found it faster, but I think I was just a little confused. Um, yeah, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. <sighs> this is a hard contest, to be honest. I right, kind of to the highest score. And I made a mistake on the first one, so this is going to be a painful. Pain wow, people fin. Oh, wow. Congrats to a uh, numbers person. I am taking my time, clearly. But... Yeah, okay. Parent sub i is the parent of node i. Okay. Each node has a score to find a score of node. Each node has a score to, to consider if the node and edge is connected to a removed and the size of the subtree. Score is the product of the sizes of all the subtrees. Okay, so we move zero, you have two and one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this isn't that bad, but this is interesting. I like this one maybe. Um uh. The parent stuff is actually really weird though, now that I think about it. I mean, it's just, it's not that bad. It's just annoying, that's all. Uh, instead of giving you an actual node for some reason, it's pretty weird, but okay. of I and four minutes I'm taking more than four minutes just to read this uh, 
Okay, but this isn't that bad. And zero is the root. Okay, fine. These lines don't make sense. Parent, oh yeah, okay, whoops, it's parent survive. Okay, this should be right, okay. That's not right though. Hmm. Oh, this is just dumb actually. Maybe that is right. Okay, so this is right. Okay. Actually, I'm dumb because N is actually just this thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, I did extra work for no reason, but um, okay. But that's fine. So then now we can actually use this then maybe. Um, Number of nodes of the highest score. Okay, that's actually different from the score itself. Okay. Um, so then now, okay, let's say we get off this route. Then, Then product da, 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 da. Mm. I guess I still need this actually. Okay. And then now we want to get the other things. Uh, product times n minus total would be the rest because total already includes this. Okay, so then now, okay, if product is equal to best, best n, da, da, da. if product is greater than best, then best is equal to uh, product, best n is equal to 1. Okay. Uh, did it again. Hmm. That's weird. Usually a little bit smaller on that one though, but four and two. Why is it four? Tell me why. <laughs> So it thinks the best answer is product the best. Well, we're supposed to return the best n anyway, but there aren't ten nodes, so that's just wall.
You don't even ten notes. How do you do this math so often? Oh, because of this thing. Ugh. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's a subtle mistake, actually. But okay, so this is wrong. This, I mean, this is right, but this is wrong. And this is two. We move the first one. The score is two. Oh, do I return zero in some way? Hmm. Is it just a root? Yeah, okay, maybe I could get it. Why is this printed twice? Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, what? Why is this printed twice? Okay, so I have a bug anyway, but... Which is that if and greater than zero, then you do this. Otherwise, this, you always have something on the other side. Okay. Uh, let's give it a submit. Not, I'm iffy about this one actually, but okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem, uh, this problem, and my explanation, or whatever you need to do. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care.